Good morning, y'all. Today is another day. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And if you're not new here, welcome back. I don't know what's going on in today's video, but we're here. It's currently 8.18 in the morning. I'm about to make some breakfast. Um, I don't really know how I'm feeling. Okay, I know how I'm feeling. Let's just say I'm a little agitated because y'all know. If y'all seen the last vlog, I was telling y'all how I have drill this weekend and every time I have a drill coming up, it just puts me in a bad mood because y'all already know I just don't, I already don't want to be in the military anymore. So the fact that I have to go to drill is just such an inconvenience because I have other stuff going on, like real life things going on. So, but yeah, I'm about to make breakfast. I have some sausage, some eggs, and I got some French toast sticks. Really should not be eating French toast sticks. Y'all know I cannot stay away from bread, but this has been in the freezer for like a few weeks and I'm gonna make it because I paid for it. See, this is what I'm talking about. Five sticks is only five grams of protein, but 15 grams of fat, huh? Oh, okay. I'm still gonna eat it. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. With the discipline, with the, when it comes to eating, I'm not there yet. So when I get there, I'll let you know, but right now, it's not it. I need to put the dishes up. I washed the dishes last night, cause I made a bomb steak, y'all. I've never made steak before, like for real, for real. Like I made a ribeye steak. If y'all wanna see, check out this video. It was so good. And one serving of that steak was like 22 grams of protein. I had my ISO pure. I don't know, I feel like I racked up about maybe 70 grams of protein yesterday, which is really good for me. Like I'm really trying to get that together. I'm about to put these dishes up. I'm really supposed to be going to the gym today, but it's kind of finicky because I'm supposed to take a PT test on Saturday. Being that today is Thursday, I like to give my body at least two days to recover before a PT test because I have been going crazy in the gym. And my body just needs to shape back. Do y'all put olive oil in the pan when y'all cooking y'all protein in the morning? I know it produces its own liquid or whatever you want to call it, but I just feel like I'm supposed to do that. I should have got some more turkey bacon last night when I went to Walmart to get the steak, but I thought I had some more left. Guess not. So I'm gonna I'm only make two sausages because I only have two left right here. Does anyone else cook their eggs in the same pan that they cook their meat in? Cause I just don't care to wash this frying pan. Oh, honey. That's enough. I probably should have blew this off. Amen, okay. All these French toast sticks are elite. I really want to try their hash browns that kind of look like McDonald's hash browns because hash browns are good for you if prepared correctly. Mm. So I did my, um, I did not do my devotional this morning, but I did watch a little bit of Sarah Jakes Robert. So I'm basically about to eat the rest of my breakfast and just get my mind right for work today. I'm done eating breakfast. I'm about to brush my teeth, wash my face, and I don't know, should I do my eyebrows? I do need to record a TikTok because I wasn't able to do it yesterday. So I guess I might as well, but I am working from home today. I never get spiritual on my channel. And there, it's not for, there's no particular reason why I just never do, but I just have to say like, 
Dive is just so good. I just, I just have no words. Like, I don't even know how to, I don't know what else to say other than God is good. Every day might not be a great day, but that's why I love tomorrow. We get brand new days to start over. An instant restart. Now my camera going dead. I don't know. It's like I just have. I can just tell how much I've changed since moving out. Like my whole mindset. I don't even know how to describe what I'm feeling right now. Like it's a good feeling. I put on Twitter. I don't know what season I'm in right now. But I'm rocking with it. Like I'm just so grateful and thankful i have so much gratitude the fear of the unknown is so real before i moved out i was just thinking of every bad scenario but when you take that leap of faith and you just go for it you just never know until you do it you just have to do it if you don't know where to start just start some words off my chest right now what am i saying Hopefully this does not take too long. I have an info board for today's project, but I just, just don't know. You think you have an idea and then when you start it, it just, it goes south. I should probably open the blinds. I'm about to turn a graphic in. I was working on this graphic last night for my job. It didn't really take that long. I really love the blues for this graphic. I think it came out really nicely. Yesterday was my first leg day for my first time in a very long time because, I don't know, April was just very busy for me. I was very, I was still consistent, but every time I would go to the gym, it was a leg day. If y'all don't know, I go to Burn Boot Camp, so I follow their protocol, their weekly protocol. And... It was just a lot going on in April. But yeah, I'm about to turn in that soccer graphic and then figure out which TikTok I'm gonna film and then start the social graphic package for my clients. Y'all, I'm cleaning my car. It's really not a lot. I really just have to get these clothes. I think there's some shoes under there. It's hot. There's someone coming to detail my car today. And although he does clean out your vehicle, I just want to make it as easy as possible for him because one, it's hot. Two, it don't got to be like that. Like, and then I need to go to, yeah, I need to go to um, my mailbox to get my Stanley Cup because my Stanley Cup is here. Whew, I really could just walk to the leasing office, but. It's no go for me, baby. I'm gonna drive right on through to go get my Stanley Cup. I can't believe I folded and actually purchased one. All right, y'all, the Stanley Cup is officially in my possession. I don't know what possessed me. Actually, Raina, Raina possessed me to purchase it. I've been wanting one for so long, but I just couldn't get over the price of it. But I finally folded. And here I am with my one and only, this will be my one and only Stanley Cup because I'm not about to make any unhealthy habits of collecting these Stanley Cups. I got a 30 ounce and I got it in the color cream. It took about, let's see, when did I order it? I ordered it off of the Stanley website. It took about six days to get here. O-M-G. I don't even know how to feel. I mean, it's just a cup, I guess. But they are really cute. I think they're classy. I like the white a lot. Or the cream. It looks really nice. Let's see. Nine hours cold, 40 hours ice, five hours hot. One thing that I do want to purchase is a straw cover. So I don't have anything flying in my straw. This is really cute. So I don't know if they updated the design or if they've always been like this. However, they have these four little rubber slots. Not even rubber slots, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. I think it's supposed to prevent water from coming through. I'm sure water can still get through there, but 
I like it, so cute. I want to use it, but I don't feel like washing it yet, so I'll still be drinking water from out of my Starbucks cup until I wash this properly. But y'all will be the first to watch me use it. I can't wait, it's just a cup. I also like that it's gonna be able to fit in my car cup holder. Cause my Bubba, I have a Bubba. Let me show y'all my Bubba. I lost the cap to it. You can tell the Bubba has been through it, honey. It's kind of old, but this, y'all can see, it doesn't fit in my cup holder. Look how big that is. Still a nice brand if you guys are looking for a tumbler of some sort. I'm out of town, thugging with my round. <sighs> I am currently cooking dinner at 3.07 p.m. Why so early, Mariah? Because I have things to do. I'm making spaghetti. It's quick, it's fast, it's easy. And when I get off work, I'm gonna go to the gym because I didn't get to go to the gym this morning. I had drilled this past weekend, so I was getting that extra sleep in this morning. I didn't have enough time to go to the gym. I really value my sleep. The man just said my car is ready. I hope he drove it over here because I really don't have time to be Walking back over there. He, nope, he's not. I'm being extra, like I don't see why. I'm doing a taste test. Not even a taste test. I just wanna drink out my Stanley Cup, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Cheers. Stanley gang, what's good? Really? That's it? <laughs> But it is a cute cup, so. I got my water going, my ground turkey cooking. Okay. And the spaghetti sauce I'm using is from Aldi. Regano sauces, traditional pasta sauce. I like it, it tastes good. And I also season my ground turkey, you know, with the regular salt, pepper. Um, garlic powder, onion powder, all that good stuff. And we have dinner. Obviously we don't have any bread because I'm not supposed to be eating bread like that. I really would like some garlic bread, but I'm trying to cut back. And we bless the motherfucker like that. You gonna pay one way or another, whether it's in the flesh or in the spirit, because So the first thing we'll look at is your scale of muscle mass. Right? So dinner is done. I probably should have put the noodles in the big one and the meat in this one, but whatever. Why is this shirt so tight? All my shirts are tight around the arm and I hate that for me. I'm on my way to Target because I want a protein pizza and I also have a few more things that I want to pick up. So that's where we're going. I just need a few things like I need pizza sauce, the protein pizza crust, mozzarella cheese, and then I need a few ingredients for dinner. And I have a few ingredients that I'd like to use for dinner tonight. Um, but yeah, it should be a quick in and out. I'm on my lunch break, so I can't be in here long. I had no idea that they had cruise gift cards. Didn't they have one for Royal Caribbean? Pizza. So I got everything, well mostly everything that I needed. I don't know what I was thinking trying to purchase Mother's Day cards from Target because they're tripping. Um, one card was $4.99, the second card was $5.99, and the third card was $6.99. I respectfully asked that lady, please take these off. Please. So now I'm about to go to Family Dollar and go look at their card selection. I need two Mother's Day cards and one birthday card. But yeah, they're tripping. For real, for real. No, 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 no. All right, y'all, I made it back home. I got these uh, car fresheners for my car since I just got it detailed yesterday. I want it to smell good. You know, back when I was living with my parents, I would get my air fresheners from Bath & Body Works, but 
I can't do that no more. So I'm just going to take two out of this four pack and put the other two in my console to save those other two for later. One, two. This is the scent Hawaiian Escape. Hopefully it smells good. I don't know. Dang, this junk do not want to come out. I mean, it smells all right. I've smelled better air fresheners. This will get the job done. I'm so ready to go inside and eat. Y'all don't understand. Put one right here. Well, dang, I might as well use all four because it's a very light scent. And I want it to fill the car up. I'm also not trying to take anybody out that's going to be in my car because this weekend I'm going to Georgia for Mother's Day weekend. And... We'll be, I'm pretty sure we're going to take my car. I ended up doing all four. One, two, three. And then the fourth one is right here. I'm greasy. Here's a quick overview of everything that I got. This is for dinner tonight. I have the chicken in the sink thawing out. I needed another refill for this. I got a Mother's Day card for my grandma. One for my mom. Her gift is in the mail on the way on the way to her house i got her the versace yellow diamond this is from my uncle his birthday was on april 21st late birthday gift better late than never and then this one's from my aunt gina i don't know what she likes but she has a few options to choose from and then this this pizza is about to go down this pizza should be easy to make i put my pizzas in the air fryer it's just faster just that one trip outside I was gone for what, an hour? I spent $102.75 in Target. Family dollar, I spent $9.65. This is why we stay inside, kids. This is why. No reason why I should have spent that much money on work. And this morning, I was on Amazon shopping. I got me a laptop case, a phone case, an iPad case. I don't know. I don't know why I was on Amazon, but I'll show you guys that stuff when it gets here. But for now, I'm about to make this pizza so I can eat. I know, I know this ain't ready yet, but this is gonna be so good, OMG. My pepperoni's flying everywhere. I should put them under the cheese, but. While that is cooking, I got my water and my Stanley. And I also prepared my ISO Pure. Y'all know what I'm talking about this my 20 grams of protein so when i'm ready for it it's already made because this is a protein that when you shake it it has to settle so i'm gonna put this in the fridge let that do its thing so by the time i'm ready to drink some juice i'm good to go but yeah i'm too ready to eat this pizza i really want to make two pizzas but i know that wouldn't be good for me Right now we're going to Georgia. What's up y'all? I'm downtown in Columbia with my brothers. Cash just has a um, music interview and then directly after this we're gonna go down to Georgia because we're spending the weekend with my aunt. I don't got no edges right now. Hey y'all, it's Saturday. It's the day before Mother's Day. We're spending the day at the park to celebrate um, my family's April's birthdays and also Mother's Day. Damn. It's my birthday every day, even <laughs> though I'm born in December. So happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to him. And I'm a mom. And he's a mom. Happy Mother's Day to me also. We made it to the park, guys. We made it to the park, guys. I'm on Mariah's vlog, guys. <laughs> this is your first time on my vlog. Uh, yeah. Well, probably not. Because I vlogged in Las Vegas. You did? Yeah. I didn't eat breakfast today because I was busy washing my cousin and my cousin cousin did not to make me a plate. <laughs> I didn't know you wanted a plate. I thought you, you were saving for this. You don't think I want to eat? I thought you were saving for the barbecue. I can't. I'm glad it's not a lot of people yet. Y'all, we're at the water getting some content for the bro ham. 
It's kind of hot. It is. He got his shoes. His shoes. Are hot. Hey, I can't get the shoes dirty. Shoes cannot be dirty. That's not Pete. No, as true. they would say. Look at my crotch. My crotch is dirty. Why is this thing always crooked? What's up, y'all? It's Friday. I'm getting my life together so I can go out and meet a new friend. I met her via TikTok. She actually is a braider in the Charlotte area. So if you guys are interested, check the description down below. I am very excited to meet her, kind of nervous because I don't know. This is my first time actually going to meet someone new off the internet. So it's kind of like not a weird feeling. It's just something different. Obviously I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone. So I'm a little bit uncomfortable, but we've been texting for a few weeks and I'm really looking forward to meeting her. But before I meet her, I do need to get ready. I have no idea what I'm wearing. Originally I was supposed to order a cute little outfit from Shein pretty little thing somewhere only because i just want to upgrade my wardrobe and there's an event and we're planning ahead and i can order an outfit i'm gonna do that but when i did go online i could not find anything to wear so the other day i did not vlog or anything i went to the mall and i stopped by h m didn't find anything so i'm like you know what it's whatever my fault for not ordering ahead of time like i was supposed to i was just caught up in a lot of work but for now we will find something in my closet i don't know honestly you have no idea i need to do my makeup i did a braid out i took my braids out the braids that I had for the cruise honestly they were just getting a little too long I feel like I could have kept them in for like two to three more weeks like they still would have been in but it's getting hot outside I mean it's kind of gloomy today but it is getting hot outside they were just way too long I got tired of lifting them up I mean they were interfering with my work in the gym we're gonna be rocking some natural hair for the next few weeks until further notice this is my bed as of right now obviously i need to make my bed i washed my sheets this morning still didn't get any new pillows these pillows are so old and flimsy i'm sick of looking at them i hate it i need to invest in some new pillows but yeah i'm gonna make my bed and start getting ready so this morning i ordered a bunch of amazon leggings and one pair came today let's see what they look like can y'all see the oil on my shirt this is from me putting miel the oil on my hair i love this brand tom tigger link down in my description box below i have a blue pair already i ordered a i think it's like a purple a dark purple pair a blue pair and a coral pair you guys will see that when i get it that'll be delivered on sunday so you probably won't see it in this vlog you'll see it in the next vlog and i also ordered some pre and probiotic this is supposed to help nourish your good bacteria it adds more good bacteria for digestive balance so this is something new that i've been taking in my fitness journey and something else i want to show you guys i finally folded and i ordered l-glutamine y'all i've been on this fitness journey for five months today i was looking at some progress photos and i'm finally seeing a difference in my body and it's just making me want to go even harder and i'm hoping that these two products along with what i'm doing now in the gym and trying to eat healthier will help me lose weight faster or i don't know but here's some before and after pictures y'all i'm so proud of myself I really recommend taking progress pictures because if I did not have that one picture, honestly, looking in the mirror, I'd be like, I feel like I didn't lose any weight, but we're doing it. I've been in a good mood all day just for that specific reason because finally, like, I'm finally seeing progress in my hard work in the gym. And I said I was going to order new workout clothes into my six month anniversary i know i'm at five months but it's like what the heck why not i'll order some more next month for my six months but maybe i'll do a fitness update like one uh video dedicated to my fitness journey six months in because it's lit like what but yeah i can't wait for my other leggings to come in let me do some cleaning because i really shouldn't show y'all this but here is my sink I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this in the dishwasher. So when I get home from dinner tonight, I don't have to clean, I can just chill out. Dinner's at seven o'clock. We're going to this place called Leah and Louise. It's located in Camp North End, so that should be fun. I've never been to Camp North End. I feel like I've drove past it, but I've never actually been there to experience it. So y'all stay tuned, cause I'm bringing y'all with me. I'm very excited, like finally meeting new people in my new city. 
going out i mean it's summertime like i really hope we click i know we're gonna click based off of our conversations but just meeting her in person for the first time i'm excited i'm almost at the restaurant there's a train so just sitting here waiting i'm a lot a bit early but i just like to be early everywhere i go so it feels good to not rush and my anxiety isn't going crazy because when i'm rushing there's just a lot of problems that go on so i like to get to my destinations early and all i ate today was a bagel eggs two things of turkey bacon and a banana so i have an appetite and i look forward to getting a little drinky drink I just know I'm not gonna be able to find no parking based on the looks of it. Looking for parking is my least favorite thing about living in Charlotte. Cause in Columbia, everything has a parking lot. I don't have to worry about searching for parking. And I'm in Columbia, but in Charlotte, we in the city, okay? Now she's outside meeting new friends and it's raining. This jean jacket is too dang tight. It is restricting my movement. Let me turn the air. Dang, I done messed it up. Hey y'all, it is Saturday night and I'm getting ready to go out again tonight, which you guys will see not in this vlog but in the next vlog. But I did want to go ahead and close out today's vlog. And kind of give like a recap of dinner yesterday. So we went to Leah and Louise, located in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's in the Camp North End area. I think I got a little bit of B-roll for you guys. Literally so effortless, like so smooth. She's so sweet. I had a great time. And I'm very proud of myself for even stepping outside my comfort zone because me and her even talked about it we were like we're both nervous and she was basically saying like she's met people but through mutual friends never on her own like especially meeting someone on the internet online it's like what the world i didn't get a lot of footage while we were out because obviously i am just meeting her and i didn't want her to feel overwhelmed with me vlogging and recording especially while i'm trying to you know learn about her and us just talking to each other and learning each other and stuff like that the food was okay it was a it was a fancy restaurant i had pork chops and on the side it came with a hot tamale the pork chop was busting i didn't really eat what they had on top of the pork chop i don't know what that was y'all my hair i mean the curls are gone um Maybe I can do half up, half down. I love a good half up, half down. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, and she got... I don't even think I got footage of what she got, but the food was like one of those fancy restaurants. Like, definitely was not expecting that. Fancy, but obviously I was wearing something very casual. I just threw on a green jumpsuit. Y'all have seen it multiple times before with the jean jacket because I just needed something to wear. I'm about to put this in my hair. Hopefully it'll pop some curls out. I don't know what the heck is going on. I went to the gym this morning, had a great workout. Back to what I was saying, overall, great experience, 10 out of 10. The restaurant, however, is 7.5. I'll be doing the TikTok, posting on my TikTok so y'all can Follow me on TikTok if you're not already. Honestly, I 
just don't care. Like my hair is gonna do what it wants to do regardless of what I'm putting in it. I don't know, I kinda wanna do a bun. I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to do a bun. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to close this vlog out and start a new vlog. So if you guys wanna keep up with what I'm doing for tonight, make sure you guys check out the next video. I don't know if it's out already, but if it is, I'll link it in the description box or have it as an end card. But yeah, I'm about to put my hair in a bun. I'll show y'all what I look like once I'm done getting ready. And we'll start a new vlog from there. Make sure you guys are following me on social media. I don't really promote my Instagram as much as I used to, mainly because I don't really post on there a lot. I mean, I post on my Instagram stories. I'm trying to post on my feed more often, but I really just trying to be, I'm really just trying to be where the money's at. I don't know what I was talking about when the camera stopped recording, but make sure you guys follow me on all social media platforms. I'm trying to post on those more often, especially for when I'm not posting on YouTube. You guys can keep up with what I got going on because I do post on my Instagram stories a lot. Not really my feed, but I feel like every day I'm always posting on stories. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I did my makeup without foundation. I put some concealer under my eyes. And then I put some contour um, right here and right here on my nose and right here. But this is my first time doing makeup without foundation. I mean, I've done like my eyebrows, lip gloss, and mascara, but doing the routine, like my regular makeup routine without foundation, I kind of like it. It feels lightweight, but I still kind of get the foundation effect i was i felt some kind of way because i already started editing this vlog i was looking at my um foundation that i wore yesterday i was like this looks weird and i've been saying that for a minute now but now i can really see like that fancy beauty foundation does not fit does not match my skin like it used to and honestly it's just plain old like i've had it for a minute a while that foundation was on I feel like it was on deployment with me. I'm glad I did the bun so I can have my hair on my on my face tonight. But it's still still cute. Put a little scrunchie. I need to get some claw clips because I'm gonna try that hairstyle too soon. Put a little curl out. Ooh, no, that was tacky, wacky, tacky. That's thank you. I'll leave, I'll leave that curl out that just fell. And I'm about to do something that not all the girls will probably approve of, but I'm gonna flat iron my edges and then slick them down with my edge control, my edge booster. I don't know, I just always started to like the the look of fluffy edges. Y'all don't be judging me, this is a safe space. If I mess my hair up, I guess I mess my hair up and I'll complain to y'all about that too. <laughs> uh, I already know I'm gonna have to change this battery. I'm excited to get some drinks. Hopefully the place we're going to isn't on BS. But yeah, let me save that for the next vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out. Make sure you guys go to the next video if it's out already to come hang out with me tonight. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.